Hey y'all, out here at uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors and he's just finished up a, a 69 Camaro convertible. I think y'all are gonna enjoy. Let me get Steve run down and uh, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, got another one done, brother. Yes, sir. A little uh, 69 Camaro convertible. It's a nice car, where'd it come from? It's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It belongs to a fella named uh, Terrell Paris. Oh, very nice. This is a driver too. Oh yeah, he drives this thing. People should appreciate that. All the, all the cars that come out here that are so high end, they don't get driven for a year or two. This one here actually gets driven. Yeah, it's a really nice straight car, don't get me wrong, but um, it wasn't uh, built to show, it was built to go have some fun. Yeah, if I ain't mistaken, this thing was built quite a few years ago and he just wanted a nice upgraded interior in it. And uh, upgraded motor and suspension things like that okay so he's done he's he's had it in the shop for a little while it's not just the interior put in you don't think right yeah no it looks good i like that silver and of course that red interior with a convertible just pops like crazy oh very nice and really there's no uh i don't know that you should make any modifications to this generation camaro they're pretty cool right from the factory yeah, it's hard to do much to a 69 Camaro convertible. If you chop them, then they get squirrely looking. Yeah. You know? Now, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Wow. <laughs> that turned out nice, Steve. That's a red interior, isn't it? Everything is red. Red, red. Yeah. I like it. We put the silver stitch in it, too, to uh, really make it stand out, you know, pop. It's that accent thread. Right. It matches the exterior of the car. No, I like what you did with the speakers, right? How cool is that? Yeah, on these cars, there is absolutely no room for speakers anywhere in here. So the, we made some to go in behind the seat and I made the grill. So you'll actually hear a good sound out of the seats. And then the same thing in the front, we build speaker pods that you can put a good speaker inside of that also. And then directed them towards the occupants. Right. No, I like, I like they left the glove box in it, the ashtray in it. And then just modernized everything. Yeah, we made a slide door with the cup holders, and then he's got his iPod plug in and oh, things okay. like that that you can plug in for that. And if you notice, we made the doors. The door is a three-dimensional door. Yeah. That way, the outside of these things, from the back to the front, it's all nice and smooth and even. Right. Because on these cars, originally, they've got a gap, like a front door and a back door will be this far apart. Right. So we made, we made the front door thicker. So that way it'll all blend in with the back area. Right. Where it don't have that offset look. And all of our trim and everything lines up real nice and neat. Most definitely. And I like that the uh, window switch is still at the back too. Yeah. A lot of times they put four in the front, you know, and they, right. they take that away. But no, good, nice gauge choice on it. And of course, what about that red gate? Did you all uh, did you do yeah, that? Yeah, we took the, it was black in there originally. We took that out and put a red in there to match cool. all the rest in here. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I don't know what to say anymore with you, Steve. <laughs> it seems like I've run out of adjectives. It's just awesome. Every time I come out and look at one, it just, like I said, it's like, holy smokes, how cool is that? Yeah, sometimes it takes us a little while to get a complete interior down just because we stay so busy. But, you know, we want the end result when you're finished, you've got a real nice interior. I've never heard anybody complain. Oh, well, thanks. Just modern and clean back here. Yeah, we do the same. You know, we've made it look modern. You know, all rounded all these edges in. And uh, you can actually take this up. It's got storage underneath the bottom of it. This is not a storage area because it's convertible. So if you ever put anything down there and let the top right, down, yeah. then you're, you're going to break your glass. Right. So that's no. why that. But you you do have you storage underneath there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as just pulling this up. And then you can put whatever you want underneath oh, there. that's nice. Cleaning supplies, whatever. Right. Hide it when you go to a show and then put that back down. For sure. Yeah, no. That's Everything's nice. hidden. Nice yeah, and clean. clean. That's nice and clean up underneath here, too. Who did that? Uh, Hot, Hot Rod Joe's down in Lafayette, Louisiana, I believe did some upgrades on the motor and suspension and things like that. And then they brought it up to us to have the interior done in it. And then back to Louisiana. Back to Louisiana. And then back to Baton Rouge. That's it. Now oh, this is nice up here. I like that. Looks good, those valve covers, right? The, mm -hmm. You know, they're not valve covers now, but they look right. like valve covers. No, oh, they did real nice. So there you go, from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a really nice 69 Camaro convertible. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!